guys, Air Muscle Cars of the Air, coming at you today for another episode of What's in Your Garage. Today I'm in North Scottsdale and we're shooting a video of a 1966 Sunbeam Tiger 260 V8 engine. This car was actually designed in uh, by Ken Miles, if you remember him from the Ford versus Ferrari and part of the uh, Shelby racing team. So we're going to see what's happening here. Hang on. We have the right time, right schedule. All right, we'll see if we have some magic here. All right. Ah, come on out, man. Okay, good. All right. What's going on, Steve? Hey, it's good to see good you. Good seeing you too, man. Thank yeah. you so much for taking time out of your life to meet with me today. Oh, you're welcome. Now, we met at uh, the Fountain Hills Concourse thing. Yes. Okay, and you had this beautiful Sunbeam Tiger there. And wasn't that Sunbeam Tiger like the Get Smart car back in the day? It was the Get Smart yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. But, but this isn't that car. But So, talk to us about this car. Let's open it up first. Let's okay, show the people what we have here, man. Sure. This is really cool. about this car yeah is this was a one owner car okay it only has 24,000 miles on no it. way it has its original paint its original interior original motor of course nothing's been out of the car really plus it has these insane rare wheels wow now you touched on those briefly yeah. here a few minutes go off camera we'll get to those in a second sure. but you know the episode is what's in your garage right yes and this is in your garage right yes it is but what that means is we gotta start it sure and pull it out here so we can do a full-on photo video shoot can we give these fans a, a sound of what this engine sounds like absolutely all right stick around for more only here on muscars with eric all right. All right. let her up theater chip okay <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Eric again with Muscars with Eric, and I got Steve. He's a really cool cat. We met each other a few weeks ago at the Fountain Hills Concourse, and as I said earlier, he's got this beautiful 1966 Sunbeam Tiger. And Steve, you know, thanks so much for taking time out of your busy life. I know you're doing a lot of crazy stuff, but this car is over the top cool, and our fans are gonna love this car on, on, on the YouTube channel. So tell us all about this car, buddy. Well, this is a 1966 Sunbeam Tiger Mark 1A. So this was a little past the original introduction of the uh, Sunbeam Tiger that was designed by none other than Carol Shelby and Ken Miles. So this is the miniature Cobra. Some people call it the cheap man's Cobra, but regardless of what you want to call it, it is quite, quite, quite the car. That's my wow. wait, 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 I want to put a hold for a second. Okay. All right, so this is, some people all say it was a precursor to the Shelby AC Cobra. Or is that an incorrect term to use? Well, it's, it's incorrect only because the Cobra did come first. Okay, yeah. okay. All Cobra, right. 289 Cobra came first. Carol and the gang were winning lots of races all over Europe and the United States. And then they wanted to develop some other anemic British sports cars, of which the Sunbeam was one. No so kidding. So they took the car and they did what they did basically to the Cobra. They took a Ford V8 and they stuffed it in here. I wouldn't say stuffed. Some people think it's it's a little big for the car, but it's not. It's actually perfect. That's cool. Because it does fit very well. You can get to work on anything like in any vintage car. And these cars just, they're beautiful to drive. Nice. And, you know, when you put together a Ford V8 and a four-speed top-loader transmission, there's just no better combination. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Now, talk to us about this car. You said this car has original paint? This car is absolutely original paint. It's a 24,000 mile original Let's one owner car. In here. Yeah. All this, all the chrome trim you see here is all original as well? Not been touched. Wow. 
this is just fabulous condition. And you will see I mean, little, a little weathering here and there, oh, but you, you said it's all it. original. Yeah, look at it. Of course. Nothing's been off this car. Wow. This interior is completely original. Got a pan down here. What you're seeing here, this is all original stuff, all original gauges, all original switches. Everything's original. Steering wheel, original wood steering wheel. The interior is even original because it only has 24,000 miles on it. Yes. Look at the condition this is in. Now, Steve, when did you get this car? I've had it for about 12 years. Okay. And, um, you know, People always say to me, how do you find these original cars that you have? Because I've been known to have quite a few, like okay. this in original condition. And it usually takes me five years to find another car that I would write a check for. So, not very often. So, a lot of times, you know, I'm not a buy and flip the next day. Right. Even though I'm in the business, I buy and I'll hold cars that I love. And this is a car that I've loved. Okay. There's reason to love it. I mean, yeah. this is like the boot here is cool. It's original. Old, old school zipper boot, brass zipper and everything. Uh -huh. Look at the easy. Oh my word. Yeah. Wow. Where was this car hell? Where was this car kept? I mean, New York, California, Arizona. No, it actually started out in the Midwest. Really? And, and then when the person that owned it had a family, he tucked it away. He used it gingerly. And then he ultimately moved to Florida, and that's when I picked it up. Okay. But if you want to take a look in the trunk, we have something. We have a treat. Yeah, for, let's, for your let's, let's this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is something you don't get to see on many cars. This is the original invoice. So when you say, where did the car, where was it born? It was born in Ohio. Wow. And this car cost... $3,200. A whopping $3,200 bucks in 1966. Yes. New. Look at this small VIN, a short VIN in this. This is really cool, man. Oh, my word. And I'll look at the condition of this. It's the, the trunk here. Is that one of those tonneau covers? Yes. Okay. What's even really neat? What's that, bud? We have the original spare tire that has never been on the ground. This is how you have to open the Zeus clamps and take a look. That's the original tire, original spare, never hit the ground. The original tool roll. Right here. Yeah. The jack. This is really cool. Yeah. And it, those are those Zeus fittings. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha, yep. They're a little tricky sometimes. But they work great. There you have it. Let's shut that truck again. I like the look of the back end of it. Yeah. Now here, here's an important footnote. Okay. Most Sunbeam Tigers had the license plate drilled into the trunk. They have holes here. Really? But when it came into a dealer, it was up to the dealer to make that decision. Okay. And the, this dealer decided that they didn't want to hurt the trunk and they didn't want a license plate sticking up, so they put it below the bumper. Most tigers you see will have it drilled into the trunk. This one was never drilled. That's cool. I see you have license plate lights right there. And they're sticking up. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I'll be damned. And it was never changed. 
that's neat look at this all that lucas yeah man yeah 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 i think back in the day i shared with you that i had a 74 triumph spitfire yes that had the, the infamous lucas electronics in it yes how's that open oh cool yeah that's it i'll be damned now because of the age are you able to run unleaded fuel in it with an additive yes okay yes now off camera we talked about these these wheels here so i want to give the chance give the fans a chance to see these wheels you're referring to what is it about these wheels that makes them so rare well these wheels are halibran magnesium and tigers had 13 inch wheels a lot of modern guys that get tigers up them to 15. okay but as you can see we use original 13 inch wheels they only made about 12 sets of Halibrand magnesium wheels because these were the wheels that Ken Miles used on the Tiger race course. Wow. So we, we're also using, as you can see, Dunlop race tires, yeah. which give us the nice, big, puffy, fat look, as opposed to modern tires that are low profile, right. that just don't work on a car like this. And this is something else very special about these this particular set of wheels here, is like one of only two left in the world there's or something? Only, there's only two sets known to exist, and you're looking at one of them. It's on your car, too. It's on this car. How cool is that? I think it's very cool. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? And we live in we live in drop top land, don't we? Yeah. So I never I mean, put the top up. Yeah. There's no reason to. All right. We're going for a ride. This car is so cool, man. <laughs> this is neat. Let's go. 1966, right here. Comfortable. It drives like a new car. I bet it's it does. Car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very true, man. You may feel a little bit of bump bump because these are race tires and they become round after they warm up. <laughs> okay. So we will feel a little bit of vibration. Gotcha, alright. Until we get them get the tires hot. So you'll see the steering wheel, it's gonna bounce on me a little bit. Because the tires need to get tires. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They used uh, 